What's up, socials? Welcome back to my channel. You know, we've been on YouTube here since like 2011. That was a long time ago. And in all that time, probably the most requested video I've ever had has finally arrived. Typically, when you come to watch a video here, you're learning something along the lines of video, but more about what it means to project yourself as a brand, as a human on camera. I don't get too deep into the nitty gritty, although I do like to nerd out about tools and cameras and things like that. But the one thing that people have always asked for and I always thought, why don't I just share that and have in certain ways in some places like Vlogboss University and I just did it on Creative Live and I thought, why is this just not a video on my YouTube channel? So that's why it's finally here. Today we are going to go over how I jump cut my videos in Final Cut Pro. If you're not familiar with Final Cut Pro, it is the editing software that I use on my Macintosh computers. Has anyone said Macintosh in like the last five years? I don't think so. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new to the channel and haven't subscribed, come on. What you doing? But to get an idea of how I jump cut, we're gonna head over to the computer. If you don't know what a jump cut is, let me sum it up very quickly. If you've watched my videos, you've probably noticed not very often do you hear me breathe. That's because I like to cut that part out as much as possible. Sometimes I will leave spaces in and sometimes I will take spaces out because I'm trying to save everyone time and sometimes add a little bit of comedic timing. So that's why jump cutting has been extremely helpful for me because when you're talking about marketing and business and a lot of these things that can tend to be a little bit dry, this helps to keep the pace up a little bit. So this is one of those many things that has helped me sort of get a spotlight on myself as a thought leader in the space. And so I'm hoping it's gonna be able to help you. So let's head over to the computer so you can see exactly what I mean by using jump cuts in editing. Okay, so we are currently in Final Cut Pro and I've already done some preliminary cuts here and just gotten everything loaded up so we can skip right to the juicy part. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we've got about eight minutes and nine seconds of footage. We definitely need it to be less than that. There's still a lot of things that need to be cut out. So I'm basically gonna be showing you where I take things out and then what I do with the video and audio to make it feel more like a jump cut and streamline the conversation between myself and the viewer. Let's let this video play. I know that this intro is good, so we're gonna start it right about in the middle so we can hear where it ends and go from there. We've got three more simple ways for you to get started. So obviously an intentional pause there. We are going to go right to the end of that audio blip. And you can see my mouth is shut, so you know I'm done talking. And we're gonna cut that. And obviously skip the hair fix if, and pick it up from here. If you miss the I don't like that little if. mouth noise, so I'm probably gonna skip right in between there. And sometimes your video layer is not going to line up perfectly with where you chop, but I go ahead and go, I'm gonna delete that middle section there. That has nothing going on. And so now you can see we've got the intro over here and we've got the first break and a new section. Started. If you missed the first So typically that's fine. And those there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of downtime here. So that's actually a pretty solid clip. I would probably leave it the same because it's it's a transition into a this is a video about X, so let's get started sort of thing. Um, but for you to get started. If you missed the first episode. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one the so way it is. I don't want you to have to watch this whole video because it's coming up, but um, let's get to the end of this because I know that that piece is fine. ways that you can start to do that. This is a big one, create. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna leave that as a hard cut because I know I'm gonna have a title transition there. So again, we're just gonna keep going here. For home base. I hear people often talk. Okay, so this is a really good example of a a continuous conversation that I want to speed up a little bit. So this is the beginning of that conversation. Create your home base. And now I am going to, at the end of that word, trim, even though there's very little time here, I'm gonna go all the way to where I start talking again. Oops, and I'm gonna highlight these, delete those. Now, what I wanna do is speed this conversation up. So how I usually do this is, this is the best way to explain it. Just because I say a word, which is happening on audio, doesn't mean you need to see it all the time. 
uh, at least not its entirety. So it just depends on how much of the word that I decide you don't need to see. So let's say we're going to cut half of this last word off. Create your home base. So with base, we're going to cut into that S a little bit because you guys know what an S sounds like. And we're going to let this next sentence start a little bit earlier. I'm cutting the visual down and I'm starting the next clip in its entirety. So let's listen to that. Your home base. I hear people... Do you see there's a slight difference in there being a total break in the two words and them coming together? And this is where jump cuts really start to get interesting is the more you layer that audio, the more fast paced this conversation is now going to be. One, create your home base. I hear people often talk. And, and that actually didn't sound too bad. As long as you know that I'm about to say the word base, a lot of times the more predictable that last word is, the more liberties you can take with some layering here. But I'm probably only going to do about this much because I don't want people to be so sped up that they don't follow along with the advice. So let's just listen to what that sounds like in its entirety. This is a big one. Create your home Base. I hear people often talking about See, that sounds very natural, and that's really sort of the magic behind the jump cut. The only issue is making sure that you don't do it too much in too many places, and then people can't follow along with you. And that is why we didn't do any of that layering at the beginning, because you really had a nice intro here, and you're trying to pace people into exactly what you want them to do. You don't want it to be too sped up at certain points. For you to get started. If you missed part one, check that out. These are instructions. They need a little bit of a beat between them. But once you get to something where you're like, okay, now we're talking about this, you can streamline the entire conversation by layering these words. I hear people often Let's skip to another example down at the end of the video. Don't think too much into this. It can be very intimidating being like, oh, I have to connect with my people. Remember you for the thing that you do very well. Mean it. Don't think too much. In so in this piece, these two clips here are being connected by one tip that I'm giving. So I definitely want to jump cut here because I want them to feel like it's a continuous piece of advice for one tip. So let's start here. They're much more likely to remember you for the thing that you do very well in the case that they know someone or they themselves need it. Don't think too, too much space. So let's go ahead and pull back and listen to that. Need it. Don't think too much. In a little bit better. And I still need it to be out there in its entirety without too much overlap. You do very well in the case that they know someone or they themselves need it. Don't think too much. In I love that. See, this is really where that magic is. The less space there is for someone to get bored, and a lot of that is happening in their ears, not in front of their face, not in its, not, not completely. You do have to keep it interesting on the surface visually, but you do bore people with too much space in between. And so this is how I jump cut my content. It depends on how much of a beat and space I need in between each tip, but that's pretty much it. You're basically saying, I don't need you to see the word I'm saying, I need you to hear it, but I need you to hear it at an appropriate pace that is not gonna be a waste of your time. And that is how I jump cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this and let's see where we end up with the full video. Okay, I've completely cut up the entire video and inserted those sort of audio adjustments, otherwise known as jump cuts, in the sections that I thought needed it. And you can kind of see because they go all the way down if you scroll down in the editor uh, because they're overlapped. So they kind of have to go somewhere, but they're still lined up with the video piece that they need to be because Final Cut Pro makes it really simple. And that's how I jump cut a video. If you notice, we were at 8.09 and now we're at 7.14. There was some downtime in this video and some things I took out because I kind of like said a couple of things multiple times that I didn't necessarily need to. But a lot of this has to do with saving time with jump cuts, which is why I love it. 
Hopefully that was helpful for you and maybe even if you're not using Final Cut, you can find out ways to do this with your current video editor. It's completely not something exclusive to Final Cut Pro. Also keep in mind, I am not a professional editor. I have done a lot of editing in my day and I certainly can understand how to make things work in the way that I need them to. And that's most of the job. So if you were going to comment anything below saying that I am the dumbest editor of all time, feel free. But what I have done has absolutely worked for me. I hope it works for you too. Get to work, go and edit something. Just take a sample video and play with it and see what it looks like to play with pictures and sound and the things that you can do to make it a faster, more enjoyable experience for a viewer so that you're more likely to get on their radar sooner. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Like I said before, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot to continue to make this content free for you. Also, that video I was just editing, I showed you how to edit, that is part two of how to build your platform. You probably saw part one last week, so check that out if you haven't. More to come. That will be coming up this week. As I am getting ready to leave for my wedding, I'm still going to get one more video out for you because you're like my family. So if you can't actually come to the wedding, I should at least provide you with another video. That's how I'm rationalizing it. Don't forget to subscribe for good vibes. And until next time, do the work to go after what you want. Cheers.